Welcome back to the channel as today we got more NHL news as there was a uh, signing by the Ottawa Senators but before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button that notification button and let's get 10 likes on this video and thank you guys for all the support lately it's been greatly appreciated especially with the newborn that arrived just over a month ago but like I said let's get back to the video the Ottawa Senators have signed defenseman Eric Brandstrom to a one-year contract. The contract holds a value of 900000 for the 2022-2023 NHL season. This is good, a good signing by the Ottawa Senators. They get a defenseman who's played 116 games for them, has two goals, 29 points and is a minus 23 with only 71 penalty minutes and has a couple power play points but this gives them that 5th, 6th, 7th defenseman go out there, play 12 minutes a night shut down defenseman that he doesn't shoot a lot, it's more of a he's a good passing defenseman, puck mover defenseman, but he also has that physical and defensive side to him that a lot of third line players use over the guys on the first and second line defense because those guys are more your offensive guys. Eric Branstrom's a good solid third pairing defenseman that can give you the hard minutes if you need and ultimately will help you in the offensive zone time to time just not very often, but as long as he could get the puck up to the wingers, that's all that matters. Every team needs one. You look at the Edmonton Oilers, it's Brett Kulak. Phenomenal defensive defenseman, can pass the puck. There's other teams that have those type of guys that it helps them game to game. Even if it's only three passes a game, but out of those three passes, one leads to a goal, Brandstrom's happy. This is a good low-cost, low-reward signing by the Ottawa Senators. And we'll see what happens the year after as he can play on the power play too. He could be your at-the-top second power play unit. He has a goal and 10 assists on the power play out of his 31 points. But like I said, he's more of a defensive defenseman right now trying to learn how to be more offensive in the zone and that comes with time he is still young he's only 23 years old it gives a lot of time to adjust and get better throughout the season but that's where i'm going to end this video i hope you guys have a good one i'll catch you on the next one